Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Talk Chickens. Today we're going to be covering a very important topic for chicken owners, Mycoplasma galliseptacum, a common bacterial infection that can cause havoc in chicken flocks. It's the most common upper respiratory condition in chickens. So let's dive right in. First things first, what exactly is Mycoplasma galliseptacum, often referred to as MG? It's a bacterium that affects the respiratory system of chickens, causing a condition known as chronic respiratory disease, or CRD. MG is highly contagious and can spread like wildfire within a flock if not properly managed. Let's explore its symptoms, transmission and essential prevention measures to keep your flock healthy. MG affects the entire respiratory tract of chickens with a significant impact on their air sacs. While MG is a reportable disease in many places, including here in Ireland, it's not zoonotic, meaning you can't catch it from your chickens and it's species specific, so your other animals are safe. Keep an eye out for these MG symptoms in your flock. Coughing, sneezing, rails, difficulty breathing, nasal discharge, and the most common symptom, watery, bubbly or foamy eyes. MG can also reduce growth rate, lead to decreased feed consumption and result in a drop in egg production, possibly stopping egg laying altogether. Additionally, fertility, hatchability and chick survival can be adversely affected by MG. MG can become more severe if chickens also have other diseases like infectious bronchitis, Newcastle disease or E. coli. High levels of dust and ammonia in the poultry house can exasperate the impact. While mortality from MG is usually low in adult birds, it can reach up to 30% in chickens infected with other respiratory viruses or E. coli. Mycoplasma galliseptacum can be transmitted in multiple ways. It is vertically transmitted from an infected hen to their egg called transovarian. Additionally, horizontal transmission happens through infectious aerosols and can occur through contamination of feed, water and the environment. Human activity can also play a role in spreading MG on shoes, equipment, hair, hands. Infection may lie latent in some birds for varying periods, ranging from days to months. However, when birds experience stress, horizontal transmission can happen rapidly through aerosols and the respiratory route. Once infection occurs, it can spread through the flock, leading to clinical disease. Infected individuals or flocks may act as carriers, serving as a reservoir for MG infection. Flock-to-flock -flock transmission is highly possible through direct or indirect contact. This transmission can occur when people or birds from infected flocks come into contact with susceptible flocks. MG organisms can survive in the environment for days to weeks, depending on temperature and material. If you're buying second-hand poultry equipment, be cautious and ensure proper disinfection. Bleach, hydrogen peroxide and labelled disinfectants mentioning mycoplasma can effectively combat MG in the environment. If you suspect MG in your flock, contact an avian vet or a chicken savvy vet for testing. Some antibiotics effectively treat the symptoms of MG, however it cannot be eradicated. Once your flock has MG, they will remain carriers. A necropsy or blood test can help diagnose the infection. Additionally, check if MG is a reportable disease in your area, as it may have specific implications for your flock's management. Mycoplasma galliseptacum can be challenging, but with early detection, good biosecurity practices and sourcing from MG-free breeder flocks if possible, you can protect your chickens from this respiratory infection. Preventing MG from entering your flock is equally important. Quarantining new birds before introducing them to maintain a healthy flock is essential. So as we spoke about in the Marix disease video, 
While a bird has moved to a new house, they are in a state of stress. While in quarantine, this allows any underlying illnesses to show themselves. MG is one such illness, as it often won't present itself until a bird is under stress. Practicing good hygiene and implementing strict biosecurity protocols are crucial steps to protect your chickens. Stay vigilant and ensure the well-being of your chickens. Remember to consult with professionals and follow appropriate guidelines in managing MG for a thriving and healthy chicken flock.